Well, yeah. now Jason is taking five ingredients and turning them into a delicious dinner for the entire family. Let's go. Show us how you do Here, Jason, what are you making with our five ingredients? I've, I've only got five ingredients, yeah. so I picked all the flavors I think just give punch, if you know what I mean. Yes. Oh. So salmon, um, mm -hmm. I love it because it's quick, it's fast, it's simple, um, fairly inexpensive. Mm -hmm. um, chorizo, there's the, the bite, there's the, you know, mm -hmm. the intensity of the dish. Tomatoes, which I might say well, I picked from my garden yesterday, so these beautiful. are going right out there. Those are nice. Beautiful. Yeah. Um, and I've got all the different heirlooms, but you get what's at the market. Yeah. White beans, going simple here. Open up a can of cooked white beans. You know, time is, you know, we haven't got time. Make it to, easy. Kind of, exactly. And then fresh baby spinach, but oh, it could lovely. be Swiss chard. It could be whatever you've got, right? Whatever leafy green you have available, go Kale. for it. Exactly. So, um, nice pan, and you can use Teflon pans, but what I love is these are new Le Creuset stainless steel pans. Oh, you yeah. just warm them up, put a little bit of oil on the bottom, nice. and they sear so great. You know, just a little bit of nice seasoning on there. Seasoning just before it goes in the pan because I don't want to release the juices. Okay. Give it a little shake. Beautiful sizzle. So yep. once again, just like uh, the steak we just had, you need that hot pan you ready do. to go so you can cut down on some time. And you need to move it at the beginning so it doesn't stick to the pan. But once oh. it's got that nice little slide, you leave don't it alone. Don't touch it. Leave it alone. And season the other side there, Chef Randy? Yes. Of course. Just getting there, Dan. <laughs> as well, as <laughs> West Indians, we both worry about seasoning a lot. I want the season. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. Five minutes. Uh, put some more hey, on that? Yeah. Wait, I don't have to rush when it's five minutes. I'm not like, you no, know. No, you don't. Got, you have a full six of, minutes, Jason. Lots of time, man. Lots of time. So, uh, so let's put this dish together. Chorizo. I'm just dicing it up. Again, another pan. A little bit of grapeseed oil just to kind of get it roasting. Why okay. grapeseed oil, chef? I like grapeseed oil because it's got a high smoke point. So ah. it doesn't burn. It gives you a nice uh, sear on it. Yeah. And then here, let's see. So what, do you want to just take over the job? Is that what you <laughs> yeah. want to do? Yeah. You keep an eye on that. Do you have any, any more good questions for the chef? It's a good question. It is a good question. <laughs> it's a good question. How long has this been in there? A minute and a half? About that, yeah. Oh, look at that. Gorgeous. And done so. Right? But at this point, I'm going to leave it on there for about another minute, and then I'm just going to pull off and leave it alone. Okay. Uh, in here, though, tomatoes. Chop them up. Chop them up. I, I love, I I love chorizo. Are you getting a little bit of heat up? from that, too? Oh, Yummy. Yeah. But now I'm throwing in some tomatoes in there. You can chop up the small guys. Uh, the big one is even goes. smaller dice. But what you want to do is just let the juices of the tomato come out. Okay. And use all different you know, types. The green's got to be there because it's going to hold the texture a little bit better, which is kind of cool. I love right? the green ones because they've got that little tart I bite to them. I never eat those ones. Oh, no. So, so and definitely there are a different taste yeah. profile different texture. on the green ones. Different yeah, flavor. different texture. A little bit of white beans in here. Oh, man. Yeah. In the end, I haven't even told <laughs> them what you're actually making, Jason. What's the yeah, whole, what is the recipe? Uh, chicken. It's oh, no. <laughs> Um, it's a pan-seared uh, salmon with yeah. a beautiful chorizo, white bean, like fricassee, ragu. Fricassee, okay. I like fricassee. Ragu. Okay. Yep. Um, mm -hmm. Mixture. No. Yeah, a mixture. Um, but the cool thing song. here is what we're doing is we're letting things cook down. The oils of the chorizo come out, which actually then flavor the un uh, the white beans. Yep. A little bit of uh, pepper in there. But how much time have I got? Because I think I'm almost done already. I think you should cook another recipe. He's such yeah. a show-off. I mean, like a little bit of seasoning um, in there. You probably you have a couple of minutes no. to play with, so but, if you're done early, that's not a bad thing. Yeah. But here's the thing, though, what about is that stuff? you, well, oh, I forgot about the spinach. No. Spinach! No, no, the spinach. No? That goes right at the end, because okay. I don't want it to cook down. Everybody okay. cook, overcooks the spinach. I thought he forgot. But here's the thing, is when you're at home, if you wanted to, you mm -hmm. can now take the salmon and put it in here, mm -hmm. and yeah. let the flavors combine, you know, yes. like that. Um, we're not going to do that today, though, because I think, let's just get the spinach in there. So, I, think, okay. I think it's got to come out. Okay. Yeah, it's yeah, ready, is it? Yeah, I just don't okay. let it rest over. You can put that whole plate in and it comes out like this oh. big. Well, that's why. Right? Last minute, off the heat. Okay. Okay, no more heat. Just yeah. like okay. Wilt a little bit so more. now it shrinks like crazy. You start to bring things together. Oh, look at you. Yeah, beautiful. beautiful. <laughs> I love it. What you're looking for is the fat of the chorizo to melt into everything and kind there. of get married in there, right? There we go. Very nice. Beautiful. Oh. Fresh. Simple, make a mess all over the stove. It's always fun that way. You might have but done that in less time than Randy. Just yeah. saying. Yeah, you know, it's not hard, right? I mean, <laughs> but you had some help. No, but the thing good. is, picking uh, smart things too. Salmon cooks a lot quicker. Yeah, go put it right on top. Right on top. That's Look at that. beautiful. Oh, yeah, simple, fresh. Very nice. You know, and if you wanted to, drizzle a little bit of olive oil on top. Yes. But, uh, what do you guys think of the recipe, everybody? Does Love that not look good?